Today's video is my first Christmassy video. Can we appreciate how exciting this is? So I saw a YouTuber that I like to watch, um, Beauty by Becca, I believe her name is. I'll link her Christmas wish list video in the description. Um, and she did a Christmas wish list, and I've seen some other YouTubers that I watch do them, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do my own take on it. Probably won't be as good, but I'm gonna give him a best shot. I've got my actual Christmas wish list on this piece of A4 paper here, but then I've also got a Boots Christmas sort of booklet that you can get free in the shop, and I'm going to Debenham soon, and I'll be getting one of those as well. And what I do with this is, as I'll fully show you later, and um, well, in a bit, I circle and fold over the pages of the things that I'd like or I I'm asking for but yeah this is free to pick up from Boots and the stuff in here is amazing so I've got this A4 sheet I've got some stuff in this booklet here and then I'm also going to Debenhams because they're having some great deals on um I'll buy myself some stuff so look out for a haul and also I'm gonna get one of their booklets so I'll give more inspiration for my family for Christmas presents so if you want to see my Christmas wish list please keep watching so a quick disclaimer I'm not trying to brag or boast or anything because I'm not saying I'm gonna get all of this I know I won't but I don't actually tend to ask for a lot of stuff and the stuff I ask for doesn't tend to be really expensive because to be honest the things I really like I just save up and buy myself but there are some things I've been looking at and just thought you know what I'll just wait for Christmas and ask from then but I'm not saying at all I'll get all of this because I know I won't but I like having a selection for my family to choose from so I know whatever they'll choose me I'll love so yeah let's I just wanted to put that out there let's why do I say let's I just wanted to put that out there but yeah I'm not bragging or showing off in any way, but let's just get on into the video. I'm going to start with my actual wish list, and I love doing these. I don't know why. I started this in November, like the beginning of November, slash the end of October, because it just starts making me feel really festive, and it just makes me think, oh my god, Christmas is coming soon. Yay. So I put them into categories. I'm a bit weird like that, but... I hope you understand that I am just a weird organisation freak when it comes to these sort of things. Let me know in the comments if you're like that too because it's nothing to be ashamed of. So I will try and insert an insert clip as well. But basically I've asked for two sort of hair appliances. I've asked for the Remington Waving Wand which is £25.99 but Superdrug, which is where I saw it, don't seem to have it anymore. They might near it to Christmas, therefore my mum said that I'll definitely be getting a curling one for Christmas. If not, then I can buy myself one in the Boxing Day sales, but I should definitely be getting a curling one because I've wanted one for ages and that's the key thing I'd like for Christmas. But TK Maxx actually have them that are always there and I've taken a couple of pictures, so I will insert like a video here, here, somewhere, um, but because they're really nice and they're actually quite a bit cheaper, they're like 16 99 and they are brands I have heard of and heard great reviews about, so yeah. So I might ask for that, but if she finds the Remington curling wand, I will definitely, definitely prefer that because I know that's going to be amazing. And then I'm asking for the Boots Mint Green Limited Edition Babyliss, Babyliss, however you want to call it, hair dryer, because that looks beautiful, mint green, festive as it is and it just suits all year round and also I just really want a hair dryer because I'm always borrowing my mum's and I just want to have my own one you know independence is amazing um but then I am asking for some makeup stuff I don't tend to ask for a lot of makeup for Christmas because I feel I buy it myself and I definitely want to make sure that it's the right thing for me right shade and stuff but there are limited edition items in the Christmas ranges um from YouTubers hint hint that I really know that I will love and if not I'll still keep anyway because it's limited edition and it's YouTubers merchandise so yeah I'm just going to show you and go into those items that I'm asking for Christmas. I'm going to ask for the Tanya Burr It's Co Baby It's Cold Outside um, palette that has got a blush, half of the pan's got a blusher and a highlighter and then a really pretty pink liquid lipstick slash lip gloss and it's got the most gorgeous packaging ever it's like baby blue with white glitter snowflakes on the only problem with the packaging is I say glitter it comes off and it just gets everywhere but yeah I'm asking for that because I got the other one beautifully defined Christmas palette because I bought that myself but I definitely would like the baby is cold outside palette that's 10 pounds which I think is pretty decent for a tiny bird palette and then I'm also asking for the Zoella Christmas crackers from Superdrug and they are £10 limited edition oh my god they look amazing and on Christmas day opening those like seriously 
what could be a more amazing and I love Zoe I'm not gonna lie I've sort of not gone off her videos but obviously I've got into Saffron Barker and Jake Mitchell and those sort of people so I don't watch her videos as often but I watched her what's in my handbag or what's in my bag video and it's amazing so yeah there's lots of her merchandise that I still want and I'm also asking for her new release it isn't limited edition for Christmas but it is new and it's the Zoella Scoopa Duper bath soak which is £7 which I think is really reasonable like her prices some people say are quite expensive expensive but I don't think they are because obviously she's got to make some money and I think her products are such good quality so yeah I think it's just a good value for money and I've asked for that and then also there's the Zoella Pretty Polished Body Scrub and as you all know if you are a Zoella fan or if you know her Tutti Frutti range my local super drug has now fully discontinued it it's come to that time where I'm just like no my scrubbing me softly is going to be gone soon Oh my god, but she's brought out permanently in her core collection a body scrub. Do you know how happy I am about this? Because I know for sure if I don't get it for Christmas, I will be buying it straight away because I just love the scent of the original collection and her body scrubs just seem to be amazing. They're sugar body scrubs and they are incredible. It's the Ghost Orange Bottle Bauble because in their like the super drug at the very back of my local super drug, they have their sort of perfume counters and their pharmacy. But the perfume counters, they had these little baubles like this big and they were so cute and they had the ghost perfumes in and the orange one I can't remember what it's called I think it might just be called ghost I'm not sure but it smells amazing once again Zoe Sugg raved about it in one of her very 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 old videos and I love the look of it I got them to spray it on one of those sort of tester cards and it smelt amazing so I'm asking for that and that's seven pounds which I think is pretty good and then the Smashbox bestsellers kit from Boots is £30 which is one of the most expensive things I've asked for because Smashbox is such a raved about brand and I just feel that I don't really want to spend a load of money on a brand that I've never heard of but my aunt has used um, Smashbox and she says how good it is but yeah I've asked for a, like an expensive makeup kit because I tend to do that every year I ask for like Benefit or something like that kit because last Christmas if you watched my what I got for Christmas video which I'll link in the description even though it's not Christmas yet but if you're like me and you like watching Christmas videos early then go ahead and click on that link because obviously I'll show you the palette in more depth then but I got a Benefit palette last year which I absolutely loved and still do so I'm asking for the Smashbox bestsellers kit and then from Superdrug um like because I put it into categories of what shops so obviously the curling wand the limited edition Zoella and Tanya Burr stuff the ghost perfume and also I'm asking for the Zoella just say yes makeup bag I have wanted that for ages and whenever I go in there thinking yeah I'm just going to definitely buy it definitely buy it they never have it in stock I'm like for the Zoella Blissful Missile Body Spray, once again £8, a staple in a lot of Zoella fans' collections, and I just haven't picked it up, so I thought I'll ask for it for Christmas because it's a great stocking filler. Um, from Boots, obviously the Smashbox set and also some benefit things because they always have good offers on at Christmas, and my aunt seems to like buying me um, Zoella, not Zoella, <laughs> benefit things for um, Christmas. As you can tell, it's late because I'm just becoming delirious. Um, and then I'm also asking for some stuff off Beauty Bay because my mum knows Beauty Bay because obviously she's seen me shop on there and stuff and there's just a couple of things that I would really love for Christmas from Beauty Bay and obviously there's plenty of time to order it because if you spend over £40 I want to say, £40, oh, you can get one to two days delivery so I think that's pretty darn good. So I'm asking for the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Celebrity Skin, that is £16. My grandma was thinking about getting it for me, but I've decided if she wants to get it for me, she can get it for me for Christmas because I do want to get it myself. But if they get it for Christmas, then I and then I know it's really good. I'm gonna definitely buy Androgyny because it looks gorgeous, and I'm trying to rock the dark lips because I always go for the same old neutral or nude or sort of a pinky tone lipstick or lip color, and I'm just thinking, you know what? Gonna rock the boat and go for some more berry tones. So yeah, I'm asking for the celebrity skin one though, that is more of a neutral. And then I'm also asking for the Lime Crime Velveteen Liquid Lipstick in Shroom. Floral Princess, aka Anastasia, raves about the um Velveteens by Lime Crime, and I just think £15, not too steep, but I just never pick one up myself. And Shroom, once again, is a dark brown nude, so you know, same old, same old with me, but that's £15. And at the moment, like, when I'm filming this, it's Black Friday. Um, and obviously we get that from the, from the America. 
from America. So Beauty Bay are having a 30% off, so at the moment it's like £10.50, which well, up to 30% off, but it's £10.50 in Crime Velveteen Liquid Lipstick. So I hope you pick one up by now. If you haven't, then £15 isn't too steep. Onto this, I will also have sort of a up close and personal um, clip of this because then you'll be able to see in more depth. But I've written on here, I've circled and turned over the pages of the items I would like. And I've also put the total as also of what I would like. And it's the total of things is £108.20. Obviously, I know I'm not going to get everything, but um, I do like to just add it all up so they know, but I'm not expecting all of it at all. So, and Shock Horror is a benefit set, and it's this one. It is the Benefit Gals Just Want to Have Fun um, set. It's Gimme Brow in number three mini. I won't be using that, obviously, because I'm not, I don't have that dark on eyebrows, but I might be able to make it work. The Benefit Mini Hula Bronzer a powder brush, the Guilty Pleasure eyeshadow, Kiss Me, I'm Tipsy eyeshadow and Nude Swings eyeshadow and that cost 29 50 which I don't think is too bad for a benefit set because you know it's a benefit set so it's not going to be cheap cheap. Number 7 and they have such nice stuff but the thing I asked for as you can see is the number 3 set and that is the number 7 Lux in a Box Glamorous Nudes Limited Edition Gloss Shine Lip limited edition mini blush brush, natural blush tint, soft damson, and limited edition nude eyeshadow palette with eight eyeshadows. That costs £20 and I love number seven. It's so stunning and the packaging is amazing and the quality is incredible. And I've just heard my phone go off so many times so I'm going to go and check who that is. I have a feeling it's Malika but we'll have a look. It was Malika and you would have already known by now what we were planning but still so exciting but yes. See I'm all asking for something from Ted Baker and I'm asking for the number 8 one and that is the Ted Baker Light Up The Room Bronzing Compact which just looks so pretty the two lip and cheek tints and the contour brush that's £18 and I thought that's rather reasonable for Ted Baker and the bronzer looks gorgeous um, there's the Zoella sort of trendsetters items and I am asking for the Zoella Candle and Socks Knitted Socks one size and the candle is Lazy Days I believe and it's £16 and I love Soella so much with her merchandise, her merchandise is flawless. As you can see, I'm asking for the number six, um, where is it? Babyless, Babyless, whatever you want to call it, Vintage Twist Hair Dry. It's like a minty, turquoisey green. It's so stunning. I absolutely love it. And that is, how much are you? £25, which I don't think is too bad to be honest. So that is everything I've asked for for Christmas 2016 so I hope you enjoyed this video once again not bragging or boasting in any way shape or form because I definitely know I'm not going to get everything I've asked for because obviously that's the whole point of doing a Christmas list you get surprised with what you get gifted which I'm really looking forward to and I know my family put as much effort in as they possibly can which I love even more than the gifts because I just think they put so much effort in and I think that's the loveliest thing that that you can do to be fair but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to smash a big thumbs up if you have and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because a it would make my day b it means you get notified on new videos and stuff like that and let me just tell you now not trying to toot my own horn but i have got some exciting videos in my opinion anyway and quite a few requested videos as well um for you guys so yeah if you want to see them don't forget to hit that big subscribe button and i'll see you very soon bye